I want to talk a bit about how shifting works because I think this is a bit misunderstood. So you need to watch this video if you've heard about shifting, if you've heard the term reality shifting, and I need to explain how this works properly. Okay, so in this video, I'll teach you how. Shifting came on in, uh, I think, 2019, 20, one of, the, one of the most recent years on TikTok, and it became very viral, as you know, like everyone was talking about it, it was everywhere. And it mainly stemmed from this idea of being able to shift to Hogwarts or like to shift to a movie scene or a fantasy scene or something from a game or a, a film, right? This is a little bit misleading because the concept of shifting is actually not quite, it doesn't work quite the way people think. And you need to distinguish and discern between what is possible and what is just kind of like was trending on TikTok because for whatever reason, okay? So the concept of being able to wake up literally in Hogwarts <laughs> is not really a thing, okay? So when we refer to shifting, what we actually mean is being able to change your reality and your timeline. And this is very possible and basically everybody should be should know about this, okay? This is very powerful, very life-changing stuff. So we don't mean that like you can wake up in Hogwarts. What we mean is you are able through visualization, changing your beliefs, your thoughts, your attitude, and your uh, psychological state, you are able to literally shift to a different timeline and shift to a different version of yourself to literally manifest a different reality. And this can be quite magical. Don't get me wrong, like this is absolutely amazing. So if you consider somebody who is like, you know, they're depressed, they're, things are going wrong, you know, your health is going down, you're, bad, you're in a bad place, you can't stay motivated. With shifting through these various techniques, you can completely change that because neuroplasticity, meaning the brain is able to literally change the way its neurons are wired, you can change all of this stuff. You can literally go from A to B. And when you do it right, it can happen very, very quickly, almost immediately. But you need to, it needs to come from within you. It needs to be like an, a, flick, a switch that you flick inside yourself to go from point A to point B. So that's what we mean when we say shifting. We mean shifting timeline from what would be your life if you continued in, in this trajectory to what could be your life if you change from this moment and go on in this direction. And these are two very different realities. You saw this like more than ever, right? We saw this in the last few years where people basically chose to either be fearful or to be to have the vibration of love and just freedom. And this even now, right? You see people walking around with these kind of like nappies on their face in the middle of town, in the middle of a field even. And so you see very now you see even now this very clear divide between freedom and fear. These are two different realities, but that same person could literally choose either one. It's a choice. So you have to basic with shifting, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this back full circle and explain how it actually works and you know how you can use it. But basically what you're doing is you're choosing from a, an infinite number of alternatives. And this is explained very well in the book Trans, Reality Transurfing, which is a bit complex, especially if you're new to this, but I'm gonna try and distill it as much as I can uh, so you can actually understand it. And so you don't have to spend hours reading it. Um, basically what it means is that in reality, in the world, there is an infinite number of potential timelines, like places you could go, you know, things you could do, things you could say, feel, whatever, okay? These are all potential alternative timelines to the one you're currently on. So if you change nothing, change nothing and just stay on the, the current timeline you're on, it's very predictable. You're gonna basically just go from step to step, you know, five years time, 10 years time, 20 years time, it's gonna basically follow that track unless something intervenes, unless you have uh, something to knock you off that trajectory in either a positive or a negative way, okay? That's how most people live their lives. They basically are flowing along the river of time with no real control or, you know, decisions over where they're actually gonna end up. They just flow with, go with the flow unless something knocks them off that trajectory and makes them go into a negative spiral or into a positive spiral. Usually things that happen, like traumatic things, act as a catalyst, but not always. So when something really bad happens or really stressful, it happens to all of us, right? It might be something, you lose someone you love, it might be something stressful, whatever it is. What that does is that acts as an event. So that comes in, let's say if you're on this timeline going in this trajectory, this event or traumatic thing or stressor, whatever it is, comes in and knocks you off that trajectory. And in that moment, you have a decision to either, you know, go in one direction or go in another direction. You can change your mind later, but it, it's easier to just do it in the moment. And so what happens with shifting is you're basically 
bring yourself, bring your awareness to that moment where you don't need a catalyst. You just basically make the decision to change the timeline that you're on. And maybe when I say timeline, that's a bit of a triggering or kind of hard to understand word. What I mean, really mean is you change the life path or the series of events, the trajectory of your life that will continue to play out. It's very, very subtle, but it makes a huge difference. So I'll give you an example in terms of just one aspect of this. So just about mindset. If you, if you inside your mind, if you truly believe that things just happen to you, the universe is neutral, you have no control over anything, and things basically just happen to you as the victim or the avatar, right, the player of this game. Things just happen to you. And it's all random and neutral. It doesn't mean anything. And you have no control over any of it. With that belief, you will experience things that confirm that to be true. So your life experience will literally <laughs> reflect that belief back to you. And that will be true for you. So you, let's say if you, uh, if you really believe that and then something bad happens to you, you get some kind of health condition. Uh, now you maybe get stressed about the health condition. And as we know, you know, stress creates disease. So then that makes it worse. And then that confirms your belief. And it just becomes a spiral. It becomes a negative spiral down. And eventually you end up in a, pl in a place where you truly believe you have no control over anything. Things just happen to you. None of it means anything. And you just have to kind of suffer, right? Now contrast that to somebody with the opposite belief. So let's say if you have the opposite belief that actually I am in control and I can decide how to think, feel, act, and experience life. If you truly believe that, your reality, the experience you have in life, will be a different world compared to the other person. You will literally experience two different realities, but the interesting thing, relating this back to shifting, is they are, they're both potential timelines that you, the person, could experience. There's no magical secret here, and there's definitely nothing, it's definitely not about the common things people will respond to this, well, oh, they just got lucky, or, you know, I'm just unlucky. These are just justifications, because that doesn't actually hold up in reality. When you really look into the success stories, and you analyse, okay, how and why did their life change, while somebody else, you know, just experienced tragedy after tragedy, they're always suffering, they're always sad, depressed, sick, unhappy, unhealthy, why is that? And it's always the same thing. It always comes back to the belief system. That literally the thoughts inside your mind, the beliefs you hold, create the life experience that you actually have. And this is how shifting works, basically. <laughs> and you can even see this play out in your own life. If you see people in your life, literally, who always seem to be unlucky, always seem to have bad things happen to them, really analyze the way they talk and the way they act and look at what they're actually saying. Do they always say things, do they say things like, oh, these things always happen to me? I'm just unlucky, why does it have to be this way, you know, why did this person do this? And they always, you know, point the blame at something else. And it's always, you know, oh, well, it was out of my control, it was this thing over here, and now I'm sad, now I'm depressed. This is, and there's different descriptions of this, right? In psychology, we call it the internal versus the external locus of control, meaning whether you believe you're in control of your life or everything is out of your control and you're just here for the ride. The interesting thing is, and it's kind of a paradox, both of them are true. It depends which one you believe. And I've experienced this firsthand because I've been both, you know, and I can tell you by far, without a shadow of a doubt, it's better to be in control of your own life, right? I mean, shocker, right? <laughs> of course it is. Because then you, when you're in control of your life, you can decide, okay, I'm having this feeling, this stressful thing has happened. How do I want to actually react to this? And you can literally have in real time this conversation in your head. Let's say somebody cuts you off in traffic. You can literally have this conversation in your head. You, 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 th you see the stimulus and you think, oh, that's a bit annoying. How do I want to react to that? Is it important? No. Okay, so I'll just ignore it and carry on with my day and I won't give it any more, more of my time. Now I'll go on to visualizing how I'm going to grow my business this year, uh, how I'm going to help people. Maybe I'll make a workout routine, go to the gym, see my friends. Like You just completely ignore it. However, somebody else might take that exact same situation, the same person cutting them off in traffic, and they might take that and run with it and get stressed about it all day. And then they go to the pub and then they complain about it to their friends. And then they're all moaning about this, <laughs> this one little thing. And then that stress causes a disease or it makes a, an existing condition worse, like a chronic condition. And then now you've made yourself sicker. So then you get stressed about that. And then because, and the interesting thing is because you uh, lock yourself into this vibration, you actually attract more of the same thing, right? Who, who would have guessed? 
when you when you're resonating at a certain frequency and you see this so commonly so commonly with people right they get into a bad situation they kind of kind of like stuck in the trap so to say and they as if by magic seem to attract constantly bad things negative situations arguments stresses disease it's not random you know that is literally the reason it's because you're locked into this vibration this negative frequency right but you have the power to change it in a heartbeat literally and so that is why i thought you know shifting was such a magical and very much needed thing to go viral i thought this was very interesting so i think it's a good thing because when you get interested in this stuff when you really learn about how the world works and how you can actually take control and decide and the book you know reality transurfing it does talk about this the idea of pendulums right not pendulums as in the swinging thing on a chain i mean pendulums as in an energy uh, exchange if you will right so the way the book describes it is you have a belief system a pendulum right and so what happens is people push from either side of the pendulum to support their belief system let's say if uh, the pendulum is you have to go to university to make money and to have a successful career that's the belief system that's the pendulum so you might experience let's say your parents are pushing on one side they're saying you need to go to university you need to do this and you're pushing back on the other side saying, I don't want to do it. You know, it's boring. I'm not passionate about it. I want to go and travel. Both sides of the pendulum are giving the en their energy to that structure. And the book explains this way better than I can, but I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. Uh, so the only real answer is to take your energy out of the pendulum, right? Completely remove yourself from that energy trap. Don't even engage in the pendulum of, sw you know, swinging back and forward, you know, no, you're wrong because of this. And then they respond back, no, you're wrong because of this, this, and this. It's a pendulum. It's just extracting the e your energy and their energy, and it's wasting your time. What you need to do instead is just say, okay, university, right. In, you know, in this example, right, it can apply to anything. University, okay, that's one potential option. That's one choice. Could do that. Or I could save my hundred grand and start a business and actually have a real shot at success. I mean, you do it without saying, you know, I hate uni, so I'm going to run away and do this because that's the same energy. You know, you're, you're still pushing on that pendulum. You're still saying, you're, you're still rejecting that in order to do something else, even if you don't know what that other thing is. What you really need to do is just look at all the options and say, right, university, college, uh, internship, job, homeless, uh, broke. These are all choices, right? Or I can go over here and make this choice. And I can see there's a whole bunch of people over here who, who are doing that. Let's say in this example, starting a business, working for yourself, even as a freelancer, right? You can see a whole bunch of people doing that and having success with that. Okay, that's one potential timeline. If I follow these steps and do what those people did, I'm going to get that result. So I'm just going to go over here and follow those steps and get that result. You choose that timeline. You literally shift. And this is this is the whole, the whole thing, right? Shifting. You shift from going down that timeline and that path to going to another one. It can happen instantly. There's no really no obstacle other than your own mind. But the interesting thing, and... I keep coming up with these interesting things, right? The thing I find the most exciting, but also sad, is that you literally hold the keys. You can choose to believe all the stuff I'm saying here and try it out and see if it works for yourself, or you can push back on the pendulum and you can say, actually, no, uh, I don't believe that. It's different. You don't understand me. My situation is different because of this, this, and this. And you'll justify it and basically keep yourself in the same place. And in five years' time, 20 years' time, your life will basically be the same, if not worse. Nothing will change, right? So you really have nothing to lose, in my opinion. In my opinion, like if I was to go back in time, I would just do the same thing, you know? Just, just change the beliefs that you hold. Just ask yourself, okay, this belief that I have, does it actually benefit me? If the belief doesn't benefit you, then why do you have it? And this is really powerful because, you know, when I, when I discovered this, it was literally life-changing, right? Let's say if you, if you believe that you don't deserve love or you don't deserve to have friends you can't create a business whatever the belief is right if you have that belief does it benefit you in any way the answer is no because it's just holding you back if you remove the belief suddenly you can get the result now i know it's easier said than done you know with beliefs it's uh, hardwired into us but it's not hardwired in the sense that it can't be changed it's just become a habit. But with neuroplasticity, and I know this is, you know, getting to be a long video now, but if you're still here, you know, congrats, you're, you have the attention span 
higher than most people. So if, with neuroplasticity, the way it works is that if you think and act in a certain way and you keep doing it, the neurons fire and wire together. So they, the pathway, the neural pathway becomes very strong. What that, what that means for you, unfortunately, is that the stronger the habit, the more effort is going to be required to actually change it. This applies to beliefs as well. If you've been believing a certain way for a number of years, it's going to be hard to change that belief. But it's not impossible. It's just difficult. But you have to ask yourself, what's the alternative? Well, the the alternative is you keep your current belief and you keep getting the exact same experiences that you have been getting so far. If you're constantly sick or if you're constantly unmotivated, unfocused, depressed, sad, whatever, you're just going to keep getting that exact same experience unless you change your beliefs. Nothing will change. And you'll, you'll, the years will tick by, you'll get older and older, and one day you'll look back and realise, hold on a second, I literally, the whole time, literally I had the keys to change this. I could have changed this at any moment, but I didn't. And, you know, ultimately you'll be the one who's lost the time. You see this with, with uh, a lot of success stories, actually, with people who, who go through really terrible things, crazy traumatic events, right? Really bad stuff. And they come out on the other side of it, and they've completely changed their beliefs. They've step by step gone through the process, changed their beliefs, and their whole reality has changed, and they often go on to become very successful. So this is how it works with shifting. You basically, in any moment, you have, if you were to visualize, the film Donnie Darko does a kind of good job of this, but it's a bit more complex than that. If you were to visualize any moment you're standing here, you have an infinite number of pathways that you could go, right? So if you could see them in in 3D space, there would be an infinite like octopus branches just going off in any every direction. That in terms of like physically where you could go. That also applies to how you could think. So your thoughts. That's a bit harder to visualize, but just imagine the same thing, but through your thoughts. So from any moment, you could decide to have any number of different thoughts and beliefs. So the idea of reality transurfing and shifting is basically you take a step back and just decide which path you want to go down. If you continue down this path, very predictable, you're going to get these results. If you can, and whereas if you change it and go down a different path, obviously you're going to get different results. And you see this, I mean, you know, I don't want to repeat myself, but you see this all the time. People make the choices, they get the results. It's very much like a, you do this, you get that. If you think and believe this way, then you're going to get experiences that confirm that to be true. Whereas if you experience and believe it in a different way, you get different experiences in a different life. Anyway, this has been a very long video. I know this is on my Lucid channel, but I do have a, it might even be launched already by the time you're watching this. It's basically a brand new membership called the Freedom Tribe, which is where I basically take all of my products, mainly on Astral HQ, right? Things about manifestation, raising your frequency, all of this stuff. And I basically put it into one membership. Uh, It's a very low price. At the time of recording this, it's only about 10 or 20 bucks a month, I think. And for that, you get access to everything. So, and in that membership, we go really into detail on this stuff. I answer your questions, I do group coaching, I share guided meditations, tools, eBooks, worksheets, all of this stuff to help you with shifting, changing your reality and improving yourself. So if you are interested in that, go to astralhq.com slash freedom tribe. The link might change though, so just check the description because that's where I'll put the actual link. And if you've watched this far, I really think you would like that actually because it's really like a close community of people, like-minded people like us who want to improve themselves, change their reality and kind of share tips and experiences and stuff like that. And if you like my videos, you know, I make a lot of videos that I post uh, Q&As, coaching, live streams and all kinds of stuff. By the way, can you comment what you actually think about this? Because I know that for shifting especially, most people, I would imagine, because I have a lot of young audience here, would kind of watch the first two two to three minutes of the video, if that, and then comment something like, oh, that's crazy, that's not how reality shifting works. Uh, I'm gonna go go over here and watch TikTok. But if you've watched this far, then hopefully you understand a little bit more about how it actually works on a quantum personal level. And the good news is that that actually gives it gives you concrete things you can do to actually change. So yeah, I think it's more exciting actually than the idea of just going to Hogwarts because really what are you going to do in Hogwarts? I mean, there's not a whole lot you could do there. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's it for now and see you next time.